Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically we're going to be looking at the reload changes that came with this week's TWAB. And honestly, aside from a few of them, I don't really mind these, I think. So, Outlaw, slowed this down a little bit. Reload stat from plus 50 to plus or plus 100 to plus 50. Reload duration scale from 0 0.8 to 0 0.9. Feeding Frenzy, this was strictly better than Outlaw, so we're changing functionality to be based on number of rapid kills. Functionality changed to increase reload speed based on number of rapid kills up to 5. With 2 kills, reload speed is equal to updated Outlaw. With 3 plus kills, this is faster than Outlaw. With 4 kills, this is, is the fastest reload in the game except Alloy Mag. Max possible reload duration scale from 0 0.83 to 0 0.8. Max possible reload stat unchanged at 100. Rapid hit. Gave a huge amount of reload and stability for very little work. Front loaded in onto the first precision hit. We have updated it so that it still feels good, but it isn't quite as powerful. Adjusted stacking bonus to give less bon benefit from the first hit and more with subs subswits. Oh my god, I have trouble with this word. Subsequent hits. Max possible reload stat from plus 100 to plus 60. Max possible reload duration scale from 0 0.8 to 0 0.925. Max possible stability stat from plus 50 to plus 25. Drop mag. Situationally really powerful without a massive drawback. As good as a perk but in a magazine column. Reload duration scale from 0 0.85 to 0 0.9. Just brings it in line with Outlaw. Field prep, unchanged but for reference, reload stat plus 50, reload duration scale 0 0.8. Alloy mag, unchanged but for reference, reload empty duration scale 0 0.5, 0 0.6666. So, on paper, Outlaw, and actually just Outlaw, doesn't seem like it's going to change that much, and honestly, probably won't. Reload speed is probably the only one you'll notice on weapons that have less than i like, say 50 reload speed so like if you have a weapon that has 20 base reload speed then it, it'll just go up to 70 you'll still see it but it's not going to be outlawed it's not going to be literally like plus 100 also the reload duration is increasing which okay uh the one that i'm actually really mad about is feeding frenzy and rapid hit rat feeding frenzy Strictly speaking, I use on basically rapid hit weapons, so SMG, assault rifle, stuff like that. With SMGs using a lot of feeding frenzy, the new SMG for this season has feeding frenzy, and I've liked it only because it has feeding frenzy. Now, I have to get plus four kills to get the fastest reload in the game, obviously. That'd be fine if, you know, SMGs didn't have dog shit ammo. So, to give you reference, the SMG for this season has a base value of 29 bullets in the magazine. Which means you you could get plus uh, you could get 5 kills. Like for sure you could, but you got to work for them now. Like you really got to work for them. I also wonder if the bonus like Feed, if the feeding frenzy bonus kind of like, like it'll stack up to like however many times I wonder if it's like just on all the time as in let's say it has a timer and then once you reload it's still there if it's like that I can possibly be be okay with this considering that you only need two to get out lost uh, speed but in PvP this is strictly I'm not using this anymore I'm literally gonna go for another weapon now because in my opinion what I would like to see, because I think these are these changes are completely fine for PVE. I think uh, this changes more into a whole like SMGs need better ammo or just higher ammo, in my opinion. But overall, I would also like to see what one kill does because it doesn't seem like one kill does anything anymore. Which I would have been okay if like one kill was literally like half of Outlaw. That would have been okay. So. I don't know. Definitely not using this in PvE. Or PvP, I mean. It's just... in P Like, the change I would have done for PvP would have been like... Feeding Frenzy gives you... One stack. 
but it's equal to half of Outlaw. I would have been completely okay with that considering the, the reload speed for most SMGs are passable. They're fine. They're not that bad. So just getting a bump of 25 would have been dope. I would have been like okay with it considering most SMGs are not low for the, for the reload speed um, stat. So you would have been getting probably like a 75 or like higher with plus with the 25. So I don't know. This just seems like a big neuter in PVP and in PVE, it just seems like extra work. Also just kind of like, I don't know, like at this point, why use feeding frenzy? Like you just might as well use outlaw. Like sure with plus four kills, it becomes the fastest reload except alloy mag. But at that point it's like, if I'm just if I'm gonna do that, I might as well just get outlaw because I'm always trying to get headshots with outlaw. But like I said, if feeding frenzy, if the like if it's a duration based perk where after I reload it still stays, definitely I will still keep it. It's still good. So the only thing I'm kind of more nervous about is like like Reckless is a good example. Like that got nerfed hard for well not hard but it got nerfed on it on master of arms now feeding frenzy is nerfed as well it's like ah uh, that gun already shot like noodles like just base 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 recluse shot noodles now i have to get two kills just to get an updated outlaw i don't know feeding frenzy hurts me the most that was my favorite one of my favorite perks rapid hit gave a huge amount of reload and stability for very little work and this one kind of bugs me a lot more because I will not say Outlaw is easy to get, you have to get the headshot kill, but I feel like Rapid Hit is also hard, even a little harder considering you have to get 5 headshots and you have to maintain those 5 headshots. I will say the first Rapid Hit you got did actually give you a lot that made getting more hits work was kind of like whatever's. I will say that, but I feel like Rapid Hit, if you're going to nerf it this hard, make decrease the amount of stacks it has so instead of five give it three i would be okay with that considering three is like mostly optimal like damage or whatever so because like max reload you went, went from 100 to 60 max possible stability went from 50 to 25 like i'm not even talking about like reload speeds i'm just talking about the fact that they're losing stats and they're losing oh they're losing 25 stacks dude this i don't know if people are gonna use this in in console like maybe they're gonna use it just because something's better or something's better than nothing but at that point there's probably other perks that people would use over this it's like rapid hit kind of bugs me the most considering it really shouldn't have been hit this hard so if it's still five stacks why the fuck would you use this it's just this one hurts me the most Drop mag does not change, but if you guys don't know, basically all your reloads were super fast at the cost of your ammo. Essentially, let's say you had two shots in the magazine, or let's say you had like six shots in the magazine, you reload, you lose those six shots. You just increase, you literally reload however much your magazine is. So it didn't pull out like all oh, the four that you needed. It literally pulled out the 10. So. Drop mag is good in PvP, it's garbage in PvE though. Unless you have like perks on your armor to get more ammo. Field prep. It's just gonna make field prep more viable in my opinion. But I just I really don't care about field prep to be quite honest. Alloy mag, I hate alloy mag in PvP. In PvE, not so much, it's like whatever is, but in PvP, a lot of a lot of players have that this tendency to reload after each encounter. Or after each in, uh, uh after each uh, battle, mostly because you know you don't want to have low ammo when there's possible enemies coming up on you. So this one is kind of whatever's to me, to be quite honest. Because in PvP, I I just cannot use this like at all. PVE, sure, but like I, I no, I don't. My like I know I know a lot of these changes. Actually, Outlaw only being the one that I see is like actually like very minor. It's the feeding frenzy and the rapid hit that I have issue with because now every time I get something that has feeding frenzy or rapid hit, I just kind of have to think about it now. It's like, is it worth it really considering I can get another perk on it that like has like this or that? It's 
honestly, it's not. I don't know, man. Because, like, I have. Let me give you a good example. Of that. Watch. What? Isn't it called Night Watch? Oh. Yeah, it is good. Whatever. Uh, I have a Night Watch with Rapid Hit. And I have Rapid Hit and Multi Kill Clip. And some would say this is a god roll. And I would agree, this is a really good roll. It's just that now, I don't know if it's really that good. Considering, like, it probably still will be good, but I have to have five stacks of it in order for me to really benefit off of that. And this is a fucking scout rifle, so, you know. I don't, I don't know. Am I making a big deal out of this, guys? Let me know in the comments below. I just, I don't know, man. I It makes me really kind of nervous because a lot of weapons a lot of weapons I don't know if you can hear the people in the background I'm sorry about that but it's just it really kills me because there's so many good weapons that have rapid hit and essentially we're basically killing I don't, I don't want to say killing that seems so like excessive but it's just I can see this making people not want to get reload perks anymore only because they can probably get something else better and at that point are you really are you really helping the game by nerfing a few perks just to make other perks seem better it just seems stupid to me like if you guys don't know other perks are getting changed as well like dynamic sway reduction adds 10 stability over time in addition to accuracy this is way more powerful than it sounds reduced reticle movement from stability should now tell players this is working pulse monitor take critical damage and you can quickly switch to your now fully loaded shotgun. Reload amount from 0 0.35 to 0 or 1.0. <sighs> Plus 50 handling, 5% faster swap speed. This works on stowed weapons too, which was already the case, but it makes it a lot more useful. Hit fire grip now helps you hit shots closer to ADS ranges. Still doesn't change still doesn't affect damage drop off or magnetism. 1.2 aim assist fall off plus 15 aim assist plus 1.7 degrees precision hip fire angle threshold by default when hip firing a weapon the center of your reticle must be over your over a target in order to get a crit otherwise aim assist will give you a body shot this change gives you a little leniency so if the center of your reticle is not directly over your target you will still get a crit if you're within the this angle has no effect on sniper rifles and, and sneak bow actually makes you sneaky now doesn't ping radar when hitting when shooting so if, i'm gonna i'm gonna be real right now dynamic sway reduction on console sounds dope on pc what the fuck ever like honestly stability i don't care about in pc so for this for me this was just whatever's the addition to accuracy makes me kind of like whatever this is way more powerful than it sounds would love for you to explain to me why you say that i just can't take your word for it unfortunately reduced reticle movement from yeah pulse monitor garbage it i've always thought this perk was garbage i have it on an SM, smg only because i have feeding frenzy on it on the seven serif smg and i still think this is going to be a garbage perk it's just going to make it like instead of garbage garbage it's going to like the recycled garbage so just makes it a little bit better hit fire grip same thing recycled garbage i still think it's gonna be garbage sneak bow i think these this one's pretty cool like actually make you invisible when you're shooting that sounds dope as fuck on a bow too it's like it's a bow like it's not that powerful if it was a fucking you know assault rifle yeah sure that'd be too stupid but i think that's pretty cool other than that yeah, these changes just, uh, whatever. It's funny, too, because, like, Bungie's like, oh, next season we're going to have new perks, and uh, and Iron Banner has new perks, too. And it's like, would have loved to see that in this TWAB instead of just, you know, we're nerfing all of your DPS. Because, essentially, if you guys don't know, we got a nerf to basically all our damage perks not too long ago. And now we're getting a reduction on DPS, which is damage per second. So, not only... Is it harder just to kill shit? But now it's harder to maintain that damage. It's just... Mm. Like, why are you slowing the game down? And 
a lot of these change a lot of these changes are just basically like oh this is unchanged or this only is, is only a bit a little decrease beating friends in rapid hit being the ones that got hit fucking hard i don't know man like i'm just kind of tired of uh I'm just tired of Bungie. Like, I'm just tired, dude. I am just so tired of them changing the game to where it's like, what the fuck ever, dog? I don't even care anymore. I'll, I'm so, like, just dejected and, like, apathetic because it's like, what the fuck ever, dog? Like, do whatever you want with your game. I'm kind of done. Like, at this point, I'm just going to be playing other games like I am. And if you want to decide to, like, you know, do dumb shit with your game, do it. By all means, I'm kind of done. That's why I've been doing other content in my, my channel, just because I don't want to do Destiny 2 anymore. You know what? I've actually thought about doing Destiny 1 content. That sounds like a fun idea, because I was playing not too long ago. And, you know, I did one strike, and I was like, I'm already having fun. What the fuck? And I didn't even have, like, the quality of life changes. And I know a lot of people would, like, fight me on that. It's like, Destiny 1 doesn't have the quality of life changes. It doesn't really matter to me, to be quite honest. I, that's how I played Destiny 1. And sure, the quality of life changes in Destiny 2 are dope. But you know what? It's not dope. Having all our shit fucking nerfed for them to... On the promise of them giving us cool perks. You know what's not cool? Fucking hip fire grip. Pulse monitor. Fucking dynamic swear reduction. Like, all of these are not fun. They're just like, what the fuck ever. I miss... You know, I was looking through my vault on Destiny 1. And I was just looking at some of the perks that you could have gotten in there. And they were so weird and awesome. There was perks where it was like, after a reload, you got a, a damage boost for a certain amount of time. Which, it's kill clip. But it's, there was other perks with it that went well with it. Like, there was... Let me, let me go to my... My dim. Because I know I'm no I'm not explaining the one I'm ex I'm trying to explain well, but that's definitely not the one I put. Destiny one. Like I was playing Destiny one yesterday, and dude, I was just having so much fun, like so much fun. I miss like having like other things that weren't like sp like perk specific. Like I was ha I had extended mag. I had hidden like all these perks. Like in how Destiny 2's weapon system is now. All these perks are so just like random and everywhere and I fucking love it. Or raid weapons. There's this weapon. Reactive reload. Reloading this weapon after a kill grants a damage bonus for a short time. Quick reaction. Gain increased agility while the reactive reload perk is on. What the fuck? That's cool. I just... I miss... I miss this shit. I miss... Or like lightweight. When held this weapon grants plus two character agility. It's just this type of shit, dude. The fact that you could do stuff like that. You could increase your your stats through weapons, too. Last res or which one's this one? Stolen crowd control. Kills with this weapon grant bonus uh grant bonus damage for a short time. This weapon handles and reloads faster when the wielder is the last living player of their fire team. Like you had weapons that just had so much cool perks or just perks in general that were like, "Okay, cool, cool." Like God, dude, I miss this. <sighs> like, nice. you have Swashbuckler, but not, no, no, Grave Robber. Me melee kills automatically reload a portion of this weapon's magazine. Like, you had Grave Robber, you had so much stuff that obviously got converted from Destiny 1 into Destiny 2, but it's, I just miss having stuff i miss i miss i miss rocket launchers actually being viable i miss i miss destiny one so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'm probably overreacting which i probably am but it's just i'm tired i'm tired of seeing all the the dumb shit that bungie does to their game and here they are with destiny one being a fucking pinnacle game like people still play this shit people are still playing this yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you, everyone, for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to follow me on my social media links, links are in the description below. Thank you, everyone. I really can't, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the support. And other than that, I will see you guys later.